Friday, my babies. Welcome to Bruin Review. When I'm on the internet, I'm watching Bruin What kind of beer we got today? Today we've got Moby Sour Ale, wild ale with passion fruit, guava, ma mango, and pineapple. Mmm. 8% volume, Florida Vice. Oh, that's what they call this. Moby's and Mars, Florida Vice. So a couple Mondays ago, we went to Moby's pop-up to meet Kevin Smith and got to hang out, got some delicious beers. It was a super fun day, so we're snagging these movies beers here today. And then what are we eating? Today we're eating calabasi salami <laughs> and marinated peppers. <laughs> Thin crust pizza from Private Selection. It's pizza. I'm really intimidated by the olive oil grana padano sauce. Like I've never, I couldn't, if you were like, gun to your head, like what is that? I go, I know what olive oil is, but I don't know what grana padano is. Zero idea. Yeah, is that a fruit? Arugula pesto and thyme. Interesting. Thyme. Thyme. Yeah. And calabrese. Oh, wow. spam call. I'm excited for this pizza though. It looks very interesting. Very interesting. All right, private selection. Uh, I think we, is that like a Kroger brand? I think so, but I don't know for sure. I thought so earlier, but now I'm second guessing myself because it's a product of Germany. I don't think private. That's a good point. Uh, Kroger's based out of Ohio, so now I don't know what the hell's going on in this world. <laughs> All right, private selection, cheers. Hmm. It tastes so much like salami. Like, I don't know what Calabrese salami is, but I'm getting like, like that's just salami pizza. What do you think it tastes like? I think it's pretty good. I mean, I think the crust is like pretty tough. I'm like, I'm like really ripping at it. Yeah. But the flavor profile of that like pesto sauce, I, I love pesto, so I think that's good. Right. And I, I like salami. I feel like I might rather have pepperoni. Right. I don't know, all along it's pretty good. Except for that crust. Well, it's tough. I like these peppers. It is so salami flavored when you bite. Yeah. This, I got a bigger salami on this piece, I think. Mm hmm It's so salami, I should much rather have pepperoni. When I was overseas, I couldn't believe how much they love to put salami on pizza. Like, that's not a thing here. Mm hmm All the major, like, fast food pizzas, if you will, you can't get salami. You can only True. get pepperoni. But for some reason in Europe, salami is a very common Topic. Yeah, I wonder why it is. Yeah, this is like one of the more interesting pieces we've had. You know what I mean? Like it's this is pretty unique. It's very unique. You can tell just by looking at it with all the green and those weird red peppers on there. These marinated peppers are crazy looking. I'm about to look up this is pepperoni facts. You're not the only one who knows how to do research around here. But does that mean that I have to take on your role and just absolutely berate you for looking something up? Importing pizza from Germany is so funny to me for some reason. Yeah, it is. That's like getting cheesesteak from California. Pepperoni is an American variety of salami. That's interesting. It is. I thought they were in the same family. Salami is a cured sausage fermented in air dried meat. Pepperoni is an American variety of salami. Interesting, yeah. Hmm. You're like the pepperoni police. I don't know if I like it or don't like it. Like, I'm kind of like, we'll figure it out. I don't know. I don't like actually know what my emotions are towards the pizza. Keep having more. Oh, you'd love that. I've said this before too. When you order pepperoni pizza in Italy, it's red pepper pizza. The ter the word pepperoni in Italy means like red pepper. Oh, that's funny. So I get a lot of red pepper pizzas. <laughs> Do you just gotta say it? pepperoni? Yeah, you gotta and say then, it really, and then they're really like, racist. Oh. <laughs> They know, they go, oh, you're from Ohio? Yeah. <laughs> pepperoni. Can I have a pepperoni a piece? They probably don't have much bacon pizza over there either. None. Uh, can we get some salami and... Brian, Brian, let me handle this. Uh, scusi. Rabbit a boopy. Que cosa? All right, before we go ahead and uh, thumbs up or thumbs down the private selection Calabrese salami pizza, let's do a shout out. Let's do it. Discord, Discord shout out. Discord shout out. Discord shout out. We got a Discord at number six with cheese. It's kind of like a Slack channel mixed with an AIM chat room is like what I like to say. You can just chat with all the number six with cheese fans in real time. People have become real close friends on there. It's pretty awesome. So we've linked the Discord channel below. Click on it, it opens up a little window. You can make a profile. And uh, remember back in the day when you could have screen names? Well, that, that time ain't done, my friend. 2020, 
2021 is the year of Discord. Don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Hang out with us on Discord, uh, talk with diehard Sixers, and uh, we'll love you for it. Also, a lot of this uh, Discord people kind of get like the first look into a lot of things, just kind of how it goes, so be a part of the conversation. What? <laughs> Eric McCluskey, our off-screen drummer. Drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. Thumbs up or thumbs down and whether or not you like to enjoy it. You think the Sixers should spend their hard-earned money on a Calabrese salami and marinated pepper pizza from Private Selection? All right, I'm doing a really in-depth analytical analysis, so great. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ho! Oh! Do you want to go first? The only thing I'll say is, there's so many better frozen pizzas for the price of six, seven, eight dollars, so this is a skippable one. Go ahead. I think this is a fine pizza. I think that the crust is a little odd, but I think the pesto and the salami are pretty decent. Yeah. Here's where my analytical resources get a little nutty. I have a little bit of a streak of, uh, of uh, what's that stuff called where it's things that probably aren't real but people believe in them. Like conspiracy Bigfoot. theory? I got a little bit of a conspiracy theory. Okay, I love it. Lying through my blood. My theory is, is that people buy frozen foods. I'm one of you, so don't take this offensively, but we're all trash. I'm a guy who drinks Natty Light. I don't sit there and pretend like I'm not a person who drinks Natty Light. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. As a one trash gutter human being from the downtrodden west to, I grew up near a freaking app, a porn, I grew up between a porn theater and a, a Jeep factory, okay? So I'm not talking down to you, I'm talking with you folks. This is too hoity-toity for us. This is like going and getting that fish egg, the caviar and stuff, like, there's just certain things that people who are trash people. Your review of this pizza just killed someone. That is so loud. How did you do that? Now how is that so loud? I want to know the concept of how I did that. <laughs> <laughs> like a gun to the mouth, like they got mad about they it. They were listening with like a cup, oh, one of those cup strings. Yeah, and they killed themselves thing? in their car. <laughs> My point being, if you eat frozen food, I'm assuming you're one of me. You're a trash human. It's the same way as like, I like that. If I, if you go to like a steak restaurant, you're not, I would think you're not one of me. You're probably hoitier toitier than me. If you drink Natty Light, you're probably a person like me. If you drink, barrel aged beers fish <laughs> and you're probably a little hoitier toitier than me you probably grew up with a silver spoon up your butthole for hoity toity people <laughs> this i just don't think that we're gonna enjoy this or not for hoity toity for not for gutter trash folks like me us gutter folks aren't that's why I thumbs down this it's not that it tastes bad it's that it tastes too good for us our palate isn't used to like fresh salami and pesto it kind of like <laughs> it's intimidating it like scares us so it's okay but that's my full in-depth review of why i don't I really think like that. the average american who gets frozen foods should venture into this realm <laughs> this pizza is built for a small demographic of pizza who don't watch number six with cheese. I can almost guarantee you. Yeah, that. that's a good point. It's for people who go to Alinea, that's 18 course Michelin star rated restaurant, mm -hmm. but also sometimes have too many spritzers and need a drunk frozen food. That's who this piece is for. It's not for the fine folks that I have like a brothership and sistership with who right. are the, the gutter people of my own, you know, my own heart and soul, yeah. my own flesh and yeah. blood. So me and you, us folks, this ain't for us, bro. This is for Richie Riches who find themselves, they still need frozen pizzas too. Like, you know. Yeah, I hate how much I agree with all of that. It that's a perfect assessment of this pizza. And the fact that we did such an in-depth analysis of a frozen pizza also concerns me. Yeah, but it's you a know part what? of the show. You know what? Well, that analysis doesn't need to exist. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we'll see you Monday for a brand new video. Let us know if you've ever had any frozen pizzas from Private Selection. It also sounds like a porn company or something. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? That really does. Like PrivateSelection.com sounds like a subscription-based porn website. If someone told me you can go to Private Selection and check out some nice Calabrese salami, you know what I'd be, that's what I'd be thinking. That's not how people with salami usually present their goods. Oh, that, not the porn you watch. I'm really weirded out by that company name. If it makes you feel better, they're weirded out by having to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you're gonna open up a package at the end of this video, and uh, we'll see you, if you don't wanna watch us open that, that's totally fine. We'll see you Monday for a brand new video. Let us know your favorite, favorite form of pizza.
Bye. Sure, I'll have a drink. We've got the goods. We got something from Daniel Richardson. Ugh. Whoa. It's a big old box. Very little people spell our names correctly, so I'm really proud of that. Yeah, good job, dude. Thank you, Daniel. Oh, mm. all right, I'm gonna hand them to you. You wanna tell them what it is? Yes. Oh, babe. Oh, sorry. oh my God, incredible job wrapping this. Top 10. This is incredible. Oh, wow, what a can. Black toast. Yeah, that's become a really big thing in craft beer. So odd. That's such a great pack job. All right, this is Icarus Brewing Double Dry Hopped Imperial IPA with Lactose from Daniel. Dude, these cans are absolutely beautiful. Right, and then we got Icarus Brewing, oh boy. Waikika Mukahau Imperial IPA. Wow. <laughs> from New Jersey. There you go. <laughs> I was going, what island of Hawaii are these from? Yeah, right. They're from Lakewood, New Jersey. This is Icarus's, and then you can just pretend to know how to say this beer out loud. So we each got two of these beers. So we'll do an episode with these, and then we get some little side beers to enjoy and get drunk on the uh, on the side of things. There you go. Which is fantastic. Beautiful cans. Yeah, dude. Fire labels. 8% alcohol and 8.1% alcohol. Sean and Corey like to get blitzed. Here's the address if you want to send us stuff to open on camera, and if you have any beers that you swear by, and you want us to drink on camera, and decide whether or not you were right or wrong, that's the address. Uh, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you Monday. <laughs> I am Corey, my hate it. We love you guys. Thank you. Bye.